While the entire nation is celebrating the dominating win by MS Tony and his team over Pakistan in the World Cup opener yesterday at the Adelaide Oval, the Indian cricketers kept it a very low-key affair. There was neither champagne opening nor cake-cutting celebrations at the team hotel. The players entered the intercontinental hotel here at the Adelaide amidst the rejoicement of the Indian fans outside the hotel. Fresh from an emphatic win over the arch rivals, the cricketers did not want to divert their focus because they have another important match coming up against the Proteus in Melbourne on February 22nd. The Indian cricketers reached Melbourne from Adelaide in the afternoon. The players will be getting a couple of days rest before they sweat it out for the Proteus game from Wednesday. Meanwhile, Indian captain MS Tony will be having a few concerns, which he definitely want to address before the South Africa clash. The concerns are letting too many runs in the first five overs. Dhoni did point it out at the post-match conference after the Pakistan match that his first bowlers are bowling too many boundary balls in the first five overs. Bowlers not being arrested at the date overs in the Pakistan match. What happens if Virat gets out early? India were piling runs at ease when Virat was batting with Dhawan. But when Virat got out with a score on 273, there was no one to steady the ship. The Indians lost four more wickets, adding just 27 runs in the last five overs need to improve the running between the wickets. Dhawan ran himself out trying to snatch a run, as it might hamper against the better fielding teams like South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. Also, the batsmen should constantly be on the lookout for scoring runs in bigger grounds like Melbourne and Sydney. Umesh Yadav's form in the tournament, along with Bhubaneshwar Kumar's fitness, will be a key concern. MS, um Virat Kohli had the century today, but uh, could you talk a bit about Rana's innings and what his approach to uh, the game today? I think he, uh, the role that's assigned to him, you know, uh, I think in this game he did it perfectly well. You know, he was provided with a platform where he could go in and uh, be a bit more expressive. What we really liked was, you know, he took a few deliveries initially and then went on to play the big shot. So uh, I felt he was... Uh, more calculative in his innings and he picked his areas, you know, where he wanted to hit. He read the bowlers well as to where they wanted to bowl and he put pressure, you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, if you can put pressure on the bowlers, you know, you can, you'll push them to commit more mistake or bowl in areas where they don't want to bowl. So overall, uh, overall including the other batsmen, I think his innings was also special. Well, this victory, how much of a boost will it be for the continuation? Because you were under pressure, so all these things will change and you are now, it will be a positive approach towards the next match? Yeah, our approach was always positive, you know, the result was not in, in our favour, you know, that's something uh, that's really beyond our control. There were quite a few areas uh, where we had to improve, uh, both in the bowling and the batting department. I felt in this game, you know, uh, it clicked together, you know, it, it's something that you have to do uh, in tournaments like these, you know, you have to be at your best and I felt today was one game which was to a lot of extent a very complete game for all of us. Uh, but still, you know, we can improve. There are still areas where we need to improve. In the first five overs, in quite a few games that we have played so far, we have given too many uh, boundary deliveries. And, you know, that's where you have to actually put more pressure on the batsman. You know, you have to make use of the new ball. If they're taking risk and playing the big shots and if they are successful, that's fair enough. But you don't want to give boundary opportunities, you know, in the first four or five overs because five overs, if they are close to 30 runs, you know, you are putting pressure on yourself. Uh, Mahi, uh, could you please summarize the Indian innings for us? Because uh, I, th I think they, they bowled well at the start at the end, towards the end, uh, but you, the batting dominated in the middle overs. Could you please? Uh, I personally felt, uh, you know, now with... Uh, after playing a few games over here, I've realized it's not really easy to play in the afternoon, especially with the new ball. Uh, there's variable pace to deal with initially, and, you know, it does a bit of the seam. But as the game progresses, you know, it gets better and better. And in the second half, actually, there's uh, not too much of swing. Uh, I, I felt the pace gets slightly better. It comes on nicely. There's a bit more bounce. But overall, the swing uh, actually dis disappears to a lot of extent. So... Uh, I felt, uh, you know, after we lost Rohit, uh, the partnership between Virat and uh, Shikhar was very crucial because the ball was doing a bit. And uh, if you see the Pakistan team, you know, their strength is, as of now, fast bowling. And I felt they bowled really well. And, you know, once the partnership was going, after that, uh, you know, once we got the start, I, I think, uh, you know, we played some very good shots to, uh, you know, put the pressure back on the bowlers. And once we had good partnership and with pickets in hand and with 
uh, players like Raina, you know, who are about to come in, you know, uh, I felt uh, we did really good to get 300 runs on the board. Sanjay. Uh, my, uh, uh, some of the players are not doing well. I mean, uh, I mean, we talked about ballers before this game that they're not doing well. And uh, Shikhar was not doing well. So, uh, what do you think, what uh, worked for them? Uh, was it the challenge uh, before them, uh, big Mac challenge worked for all the team members? I think it's a mix of everything. Uh, again, uh, I personally feel the 8 to 10 day break that we had, uh, you know, that also helped us a lot. You know, everybody went off, did their respective things and then we came back and uh, you can use it in a way to say, okay, you know, let's divide this whole tour into two tournaments, you know, like first the test matches and the tri-series, then you break it and then you say, okay, uh, the World Cup is, is a fresh start for us. So uh, I felt, you know, that was something that we managed really well. As I said, the morale of the team was good, you know, though the results were not in our favor. Uh, we knew, we, we have showed that, you know, in flashes that a few batsmen have batted well, a few times the bowlers have bowled well, but it was important for us to do that, you know, as a team. And this was one game where we did that, you know, Afghanistan game also. Uh, we showed improvement and we were quite consistent. This game was a fantastic game for us, you know, as far as the bowling, batting and, and the fielding department is concerned. But this can be a benchmark. In the coming games, you know, we'll be playing tougher sides and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to replicate the performances. Abhishek. Mahir, at one stage you looked good for 320 or 330, but 300 was still a huge total, especially in an India-Pakistan World Cup match. How much pressure do you think that weight of runs exerted on Pakistan? It's difficult to say. The reason being, you know, on wickets like these, uh, at times what we have seen is if you have a partnership going, if you have wickets in hand and if somebody starts to middle the, the deliveries, you know, it becomes uh, quite hard to contain the uh, batsman. You know, most of the teams, what they're doing is they're just pulling back of the length you know, and asking the batsman to clear the boundaries and irrespective of how good a batsman you are, you know, that's one uh, strategy that almost all the teams have uh, deployed and, you know, it is working. Uh, but we'll have to see, you know, in some game you'll see somebody is really middling the, uh, the shots and if it goes outside the boundary then they'll have to fall back to their other plan of bowling Yorkers and everything. But as far as uh, the tournament is, tournament is concerned, you know, so far that's a strategy that has been working and most of the teams are falling for that. So we'll have to wait and watch, you know, because we have seen it becomes difficult to contain because of the pace of the wicket and also with that extra fielder inside, you know, at times you feel, okay, you know, where to really bowl so that, you know, we can contain the batsman. Last four in English, Kushan, Gaurav Bhattacharya, Debas, Isdatta, Kaushal. Yes, uh, like uh, you used Umesh in short, short bursts today and uh, what was the plan behind it and uh, what will exactly be Mohit's role as the third seamer? What do you expect as a captain? Uh, you know, frankly, uh, Umesh prayed a bit. That was the reason to stop him in the first five overs, you know. Uh, I wanted him to use the new ball well, uh, which I felt he didn't to a lot of extent. Uh, but he always has pace, so, you know, uh, I gave him a break over there, brought in Mohit. And so far, Mohit has been really consistent with his line and length, uh, which I feel is uh, the key for him. You know, he has uh, that variation of uh, pace. He uses the bouncer well. So, so far, uh, he has proved himself. You know, he's not someone who gets a, a lot of bounce, but he's quite consistent with his line and length. And uh, I felt, you know, if we, if we bowl well with the new ball, if we get more wickets with the new ball, you know, we can put pressure because what we are doing right now is every day we have to see, okay, today who's bowling well. And accordingly, you know, it's, it's not like you have a fixed role assigned for everyone. Every time you have to see, okay, today this guy is bowling really well, how to use him, how to use uh, spinners in a specific way. Because if you see, if you compare how we have been using spinners and how we are using the fast bowlers in the middle over, it's entirely different to how we have done so far. So I feel uh, a lot of uh, improvisation is going on because this is the best that we have to got and, you know, we have to improvise and use it in the best possible manner. Yeah, miss, uh, uh, how difficult was your role as a captain following a disappointing series in Australia, uh, such an important high-voltage match? And secondly, how do you explain India's record against Pakistan in World Cup? Well, the record is good, but... Uh, you know, uh, it's something that I don't want to get into because uh, there'll come a time when we will lose, you know, uh, irrespective of whether it happens uh, this World Cup, next World Cup, or, you know, four World Cups down the line. It's, it's not something that will stay uh, 
till the world exists. So, you know, no point really thinking about it. Yes, we are proud of the fact that we have done it. But if you just see the stats, India-Pakistan stats, you know, we are way behind victories when it comes to that. They have really dominated. So, uh, I feel definitely World Cup is something that we can, to some extent, you know, be proud of. But overall, you have to see, you know, they are a fantastic side. Uh, uh, they don't have the kind of players that they had, but still, if you see from talent point of view, they've always got uh, good fast bowlers. I feel their strength was all round us. They were, you know, still getting all round us like Abdul Razak and all, but they don't have it, you know, so they don't have the luxury. Again, they have to, uh, you know, go in with 3 2 combination. And, you know, if you don't really have a seam up all round up, it actually affects the uh, composition of the side. So, overall, they are a fantastic side. Uh, as far as the World Cup record is concerned, we are definitely proud of it. But it will be broken at some point of time. Well, uh, you know that's that's really the job of the leader. You know, uh, again, uh, what we wanted to do in uh, from the management point of view was to keep the morale high. You know, the dressing room atmosphere because it is very crucial. Because if the morale is down, then it becomes more difficult to come back. Uh, you know, till everybody is smiling and you know, even going through a lot of difficulties and problems, you know, even if you have that genuine smile on your face and if you turn up every day to improve yourself, you know, as a cricketer, you know the result will follow. You know, it may be one game, it may be a tournament, but it's not the end of the world. And that's how I feel, you know, sports, any sport needs to be taken. You know, at times we try to give team too much importance to test series that we play outside India or a tri-nation or a bilateral outside the country. I feel all of them are the same. You know, we should be proud of uh, winning at home and we should uh, try to win outside also. You know, there should not be any uh, demarcation as to, you know, okay, he has got a century here, but he has to score there. So there's no need to just add but. And that actually adds pressure on to the youngsters, you know, because they come and they score centuries in India, but you know, whenever they get complimented, there's always a but that follows and it's okay, but he has to score there. We all know we need to score outside the subcontinent. It is a challenge for all of us, but you know, it's not like every time whenever you get a compliment, it's followed by but. Why do you hide your magic wind? Because you know, when the team is doing very badly, people have lost their hope. And suddenly you come up, and on the eve of the World Cup, uh, your team and you personally has assured that you know everything will be all right. The other day, <laughs> Shikhar Dhawan and um, Suresh Raina they also said that don't worry, we will come back, and you do come back, and it's been happening again and again. So that's why I'm saying that why do you and how do you hide your magic wand? Well, I think it's the belief and trust that we have in each other. You know, at times it takes time. Uh, not to forget, uh, it's a competitive sport. You know, we represent our country, we want to do well. But it's the same with all the other countries also. You know, they're representing their respective teams. You know, at times the condition favors the other team more than it favors us. So you have to accept all of that. At times you have to accept that, you know, uh, you were beaten by an opposition, you know, that was more suited to the condition or that played better cricket on that particular day. Uh, what's very important is to have that belief and that magic wand actually is the support staff and the 15 players because, you know, irrespective of what others think, you know, what really matters is what the guys are thinking, what 15 uh, people who are part of the team are thinking and how the management is working till we are moving in one direction and we are together. You know, there are more chances of us making a strong comeback. My defending champions first game, uh, not uh, great results in the tri-series. How important was it for you to win and win in the manner in which you did? Well, I think winning was important uh, to start off, uh, you know, because we have not won a lot of game. Uh, in Afghanistan, was the only warm-up game that we had won. Uh, so once you start thinking about all these things, you get caught up, you know, with a lot of thought. So what was important was to not think about the past. You know, it's something that you will keep getting flashes, but uh, it was important not to, you know, get entangled with these thoughts. You know, think more about the process, what needs to be done, because ultimately what will really matter is the present. Uh, at times, uh, what we have seen is, you know, you have pressure of expectation and, you know, that burden of your own performance, you know, that, that you want to do. So all of that really plays a part, but uh, I felt, you know, the guys did really well because, you know, a World Cup opening game against Pakistan, it, it is a high-stake game, but at the same time, we don't want to give it too much of an importance because irrespective of whether you're playing Pakistan or Australia, the games are as important, you know, you get the same number of points. Your run rate, you know, depending on the margin you win with, it's the same. So uh, I feel, you know, we, we try to keep it as normal as possible. And to a lot of extent, we were able to do that.